Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to burn a DVD from an AVI file. Uh, first thing you need to download is two different programs. Uh, one is called DVD Flick. You can get that at dvdflick.net. Just go to the download page. <coughs> And uh, download it right there. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. And the second thing you want to download is Image Burn. You want to go to imgburn.com, click on the download page, and choose one of the mirrors to download it. And again, I already have it, so I don't need to download it. What you want to do is you want to open DVD Flick <clears throat> and you want to go to Project Settings and you want to go to the Burning section here and go to Create ISO Image and Burn Project to Disk. And for the speed, I usually pick anywhere from 8 to 10, uh, but the, that really depends on your, uh, your DVD burn that you have. <clears throat> now you want to go ahead and go to Add Title and find your AVI file. and that will load in there and let me just double check everything here you don't really need to change anything with the general video and audio and the playback that's pretty much fine the way it is and uh, go ahead and hit create DVD now this actually uh, the first time you see uh, use DVD flick you will not see this message. Uh, what it does is it creates a folder in your documents uh, to back up everything. And uh, this warning here, uh, go ahead and click yes. Uh, it's basically going to delete the old files that you use to make a DVD and just replace them basically. So uh, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, and what DVD Flick is doing now <clears throat> is it is uh, converting the AVI file from the uh, AVI over to the DVD format and it does the video, the audio <clears throat> and uh, it will take about uh, maybe an hour or two hours, I'm, I'm not really sure, uh, I haven't done it in a while but uh, it's usually a couple of hours and once that is done, uh, it will automatically open Image Burn and uh, burn it to the disk. And that's pretty much it. And once you're done, you can pop it into any DVD player and watch your movie from there. All right, thanks for watching.